morning. Just got dropped off to trail at Kinsman Notch from the Notch Hostel at like 7.15 this morning. And today I am hiking the Kinsman's. It's gonna be about seven, 16 miles. I'm gonna end the day at Franconia Notch and then go back to the Notch Hostel. That's a lot of notches. <laughs> Uh, I'll put a little screenshot of the summit weather today on Kinsman. So I'm just expecting it to rain all day. I am slack packing, so I got a nice light backpack. I already got my rain jacket on. I already taped up my feet with Luco tape. So even if my feet get soaked today, I have a little bit of blister protection. And yeah, two more 4,000 footers today, north and south Kinsman. It's gonna be rocky, it's gonna be wet, but I've done this range before in a complete downpour, so it's possible. And I'm just gonna try to stay positive. I have to finish by, I think, like 4.30 to get, I don't have to. I'm aiming to finish by 4.30 to get the shuttle back to the hostel and then get the shuttle into town. And yeah, I'll update you. Let you know how it goes today. It's not raining now, but it is pretty misty and it could probably rain at any second. Not only is it not raining, but I can actually see the sun. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy the sunlight while it lasts. First water source, I just filtered some water I mean, I guess it doesn't look bad on camera, but yeah, I guess you can kind of see the tint now. It's not exactly clear, but it'll do. It's 4.3 miles and almost 2,500 feet of elevation gain into the day. Right now I kind of passed near the top of Mount Wolf, which kind of feels like a little climb compared to the Kinsman's that I'm going to do later, but the fact that I've already done over 2,000 feet of elevation gain <laughs> wasn't really that easy, uh, but I will put a screenshot of the elevation for the day, what I've done, and what I still have left to do. Uh, it's 10.10 a.m., and so far the weather is still holding out. haven't felt any raindrops yet, and I know I'm probably jinxing myself, but... <laughs> We'll see what happens. So, I have a little tip for anyone who maybe wants to through hike or backpack or, you know, do anything in the woods. Uh, when you feel like you have to go in the woods to dig a cat hole, maybe take a little look at the map and determine what direction off trail you want to go. Because, here's a screenshot of where I am, I decided to go left and look for a spot in the woods and I came to a trail and I was like, oh, I am back on the AT. <laughs> so then I had to run back to the trail and then run in the other direction. So that was kind of funny, but I, I should have known. <laughs> I wasn't thinking. This is what a lot of the trail looks like today. So you either got to play a game of hopping from rock to rock or just, you know, oh my god, not doing that. <laughs> Why did I film that? Oh my god. Mm. It's the first time I've ever stepped in mud and had it go all the way to my thigh. <laughs> You're lucky I got that on video. But yes, I have been getting my feet wet a little bit, trying to get through those little mud puddles in the middle of the trail. But I have been going rock to rock as much as I can. Oh gosh, that kind of hurt. There's a little bit of blood. <sighs> so that really only happened because I wanted to show you guys in the video 
I wanted to demonstrate the trail and demonstrate both rock hopping and getting my feet wet. If I wasn't filming, probably wouldn't have done that. Um, before I step in mud, you can also like stab it with a checking pole to see how far down it goes. But I just saw the mud. I was like, yeah, it won't be too bad. I'll do it for the vlog. For, I'll do it for the vlog. But I'm just, I'm just laughing about it now. I think it's funny. I think I'm coming up to the close to the top of the Kinsmen's and just climbing up all these rocks because a lot of people around trail know that I live in this area and I hike the White Mountains a lot. People have been asking how the terrain is and it's sometimes hard for me to come up with an answer because this is just what I'm used to but I'll I'll try to show what it looks like as best I can as I get to the top of the Kinsmen's. But it is just a lot of big boulders that we're climbing up and everything is wet and a little slippery because of that. So every foot placement has to be super thought out and, and just like you gotta feel secure with every foot placement just because you don't wanna slip because that can be a little dangerous. So sometimes it's hard for me to film when it goes up because I want a trekking pole in each hand and I just want to be super prepared but I'll show you a couple of spots of it The summit looks like it's in the cloud. Alright, we got South Kinsman right here. Woo! You can feel the wind. Haven't stopped too many times today, but. I'm not used to having to take my backpack off to get to my water bottle. This is the trail. There's a white blaze on that tree and I'm hiking down this. <laughs> And a little view of Lonesome Lake. It is 4.12 p.m. and I have 0.6 miles left of the AT and then a 0.9 mile blue blaze to the Flume Visitor Center and that's where the notch picks up and shuttles back to the hostel. It did actually just start raining not too long ago, which I'm really surprised at. I thought I was gonna get totally downpoured on all day 
but it was just kind of a light sprinkle and right now this is the hardest it's rained. I kind of showed that clip of Lonesome Lake so you can see how many raindrops there were and it's honestly not too bad. Like this rain jacket's keeping me dry, my water resistant backpack is keeping everything inside dry so rain's not that bad. The trail has been soaked all day. It's been like a constant river. My feet have been soaked all day, but honestly, no issues there. No feeling of blisters. I think putting the Luco tape on this morning was a great idea because that saved my feet. There was one tough river crossing not too long ago, but I just kind of butt slid across a fallen tree. That blue blaze is coming up to the Flume Visitor Center, and that is a paved bike path. So, yeah, I'm kind of cutting it close, but I figured once I get to that paved road, I can start jogging and I should make it there right on time. Everything is going well. This is editing Taylor realized that I didn't get any other clips from that day. But I did make the shuttle back to the notch. I did get the shuttle into town and went to a pizza place and got a chicken parm. I did go back to the hostel where I met up with a big tramway and sat around the dining room table with them all night and chatted. And then I got a good night's sleep. So I really like staying at the notch hostel. It's right in my community of Lincoln, New Hampshire and just... The people that work there are so nice and I always have a good time so I'm glad I got to spend some time at the notch and that's gonna do it for today's video. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.